Hey everybody, it's been a long time since I've been in front of the camera, but something showed up in the mail today that was too cool for me not to share with you all. First, there's this. Then there's this. Then, there's this. <laughs> Let's get it unboxed. So, first up, we have the DJI FPV Fly More Kit, which is basically just a fast charger with two batteries included. And I got this because I know from experience with, the, with uh, drones that you always want more than one battery. And uh, with every drone I've ever bought, I've always ended up getting the Fly More Kit, so I just buy it, bought it right off the bat with this. And we're gonna take a look at that really quick here. Battery charging hub, instructions. Kind of nice packaging, actually. Like this is a really nice little foam thing. Um, one thing to note is that this Flymore kit does not come with a carrying case, which is something kind of unusual to me from experience with DJI's past Flymore kits. Uh, so I guess it's you're gonna wanna use this uh, foam insert as a case for the batteries and the charger and everything. But there they are. They're pretty solid looking fellows. And I guess that's the charger itself. Huh. It's pretty simple. I don't, I thought it would have like a cable with it, but I guess they just assume, I guess it just used the one with the drone. Huh, that's interesting. This is a pretty bare bones fly market. It's still a great value. Like you couldn't buy these two batteries separately for less than the, less than the pr price of this. Like these are actually together, I think like $156 and the kit as a, as a whole is $300. So you're actually saving like 12 bucks off the cost of battery, plus getting this multiple battery charger here to go with them. Next up, we have the uh, motion controller. Now this one is actually really exciting. It's a very unusual way to control a drone. Uh, I think it's like the pretty much the first of its kind. I think there, there may have been a few others on the market, but this is, uh, definitely an exciting sort of thing, very unusual. Uh, and this costs $200. I mean, it's a pretty, it's pretty expensive, you know, for just a controller, but it's uh, how unique it is and what it does. And I, I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Of course, with both this and the Fly More Kit, I will be doing a separate, separate videos for those, or short separate videos where I'll, I'll uh, do kind of a, a short review of them. So this is, and this is just really an unboxing for these things. Oh, opens like that. Okay. <laughs> and we got, that's kind of an interesting foam card it has in it. Must be the rest of the documentation in there. Oh yeah, it's just the usual manuals. Just a little bit odd the way that opens too. This whole box is a little bit strange. I, I guess the packaging isn't that strange. That's not even worth commenting on I'm babbling. But anyway, there it is, wow. Okay, that feels solid. That feels like something, wow. <laughs> that feels like a really serious piece of kit. The, this is like something you can imagine in like a jet, like it's straight out of a fighter jet or something. Uh, that, okay, it, I thought $200 is a little bit pricey, but feeling this, this feels like a $200 uh, remote. So that is really exciting. Uh, and I'm, I, I think that'll be really good. Okay, moving on. Oh, <laughs> not moving on, uh, got, a, got a strap. You wanna use that probably for the big moment. There. Whoosh. Okay, that is, I gotta say that is some pretty cool packaging there. And what, what a machine. Oh, I feel solid. That is a heavy drone. That's at least as heavy as my Mavic. Wow. That is a serious piece of kit. As is this crazy alien looking pair of goggles here. 
Wow. <laughs> Those are definitely got some sci-fi vibes going on here from this whole kit, really. And I guess next we pull this out. Whoosh. There's your controller. Feels very much like a, well, it really is a video game controller. Um, pretty familiar feeling. Interesting sort of hammerhead shaped antennae that's got on it. And everything inside is kind of neatly organized into boxes. We've got the propellers, looks like. Yep, those are propellers. And you got a second box of propellers. Spares, which I know I will need. <laughs> and, oh, this looks like all the parts of the headset right here. That. Oh, oh! This is the replace the uh, alternative uh, great bright green hood that the uh, for the drone itself there. Oh, it actually hit. So that's a. It actually comes with a spare shell, which is essentially what that is. So you can put that right on there and have it be bright green, which I will probably end up doing because I like bright green. Although this translucent look, I gotta say, it's pretty sweet. And next, oh, that's just the head strap. I wish they made these bags so that, you know, they weren't just useless, they could be reused. I wish they, why include bags that aren't, you know, reusable in here? Like you have to tear open. Uh, seems kind of silly anyway. And that is, feels like, looks like it should be fairly comfy. And, ooh, cables, USB-C. Uh, looks like a charging cable. Not sure exactly to what. Oh, and there's a bunch more. Antenna, antenna. Uh, USB to USB-C, USB-A to USB-C, I should say. And that feels like something small and easily lost. Oh, those are the sticks for the controller. So go ahead, oh, another power, USB power? Probably That's probably for the headset right there, maybe. And see if get that open there. Yep. So let's just go ahead right now and attach those. Yeah, those are kind of fiddly to attach. They're not, they're not quite as easy to screw and unscrew as the ones on my Mavic, I've got to say. Um, oh, that, that's not too bad. Let's see how that feels. Oh yeah. Those feel solid. Um, I've got to, I'll have to try those out and see how I, see how I feel about them. But they, they seem pretty solid right now. Let's get some of this out of the way. Let's see those pillars back in there. Nothing else in here, just a bundle of instructions and things. Hmm, that looks like I'm gonna... I guess this is going to be batteries. Yep, that's a battery. Uh, that's the headphone battery. Or the, I mean the headset battery right there. That, oh, that's the stock charger there for the, if you only have the basic combo set, that's your charger. That looks like it. Well, uh, that, 
Uh, give me a second, I'll get this all set up and charging, and then I will see you in the skies in just a few seconds here, your time. For me, it'll be hours of painful waiting. Yeah, let's get going. Well, I'm gonna have to end the video here because I cannot get this drone working for the life of me. And even if I could, it's now pitch black, it's nearly midnight, and I've been working on this stinking device all evening long because uh, DJI can't get their software and firmware into a fully working state at launch for any of their products. At least that's been my experience. <laughs> so first I download the DJI Fly app. Okay, that goes just fine. Uh, but that's where everything goes wrong because the DJI Fly app will not recognize the uh, DJI FPV drone. It just won't. Like, it's not even listed in the app anywhere. And that's because it's out of date. The, the app in the uh, Google Play Store is completely out of date. So uh, you have to download it directly from their website. I found this out only after searching through the forums to uh, figure out and getting help from the people there who had already run into this issue because I'm not alone in this issue at all. So I, get, I go to, I download that, but that version of the app won't install on my Galaxy Note 9 here. Uh, and I should say that this, this is, if you're using an, if you're using Apple, if you're using an iPhone, you're not gonna have any of these issues. If it, this is exclusively an Android issue. And I have no idea why DJI hasn't put the updated app into the Play Store so that it's like at least easier to install. Uh, easier to install uh, you know just update the app please uh, it's been a, the device has been out in the pub in the public for a full week now the app in the app store should be updated um, so anyway I try and try and try again to install that app it just won't work no matter what I do so I go I decided to just plug the the drone into my computer and see if DJI Assistant 2 will work, and it doesn't. I have to install another piece of software, DJI Assistant 2 FPV version, I think that's something called something like that anyway. It's the FPV version of DJI Assistant 2. I don't know why they didn't just add the uh, DJI FPV drone to the regular version of DJI Assistant 2. Uh, I don't understand why there are two versions of the same software. Uh, can you just update it? Anyway, uh, so I do that and I'm finally able to update the firmware on the drone and the headset and everything. And so I get to do that, but you can't activate the drone uh, through DJI Assistant. You've got it, you can only activate the drone through the DJI Fly app. And I only learned that after several hours, a bunch of hours, six hours. I don't actually know anymore. Anyway, so where I am now is I've got a updated functioning drone that I can't fly because DJI, DJI needs me to go through their little DRM activation sequence again, which is super frustrating. I mean, if you if you live somewhere without an internet connection, and there are people who do, who might, and they might very well want to buy this drone. Of course, they won't see this video because they don't have an internet connection. So uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, uh, if you have an Android device, uh, be a little bit wary of this drone, at least until DJ has worked out some of the kinks in their software and just, just got in their just got in their software and firmware and over in order so that it works with Android. Um, and yeah, it's just quite frustrating. And excuse me if I've been ranting a little bit about this, but all, all I ask DJI is that when you release a new product, beforehand make sure all the software and firmware for the thing is in working order. Like, 
so that your users can actually use it. If you're going, especially if you're going to have things like a mandatory activation for your products, then make sure that the software that is used for that activation process is functioning. Like this is this was a problem for video games. I remember back in the day, like 20 years ago, that you buy a video game and then you couldn't use it because of their the uh, DRM software in the that the developer put into it just made it you know non-functional and made it so you couldn't use the product you bought. And uh, the same thing is true of DJI with their software. And uh, I personally don't believe that hardware should come with uh, restrictions like that on it. I understand why it does, but it, it irks me nonetheless. And I'll, I hope that this little uh, rant slash PSA thing at the end of this otherwise very excited and happy unboxing video, it took a very dramatic left turn there at the end, I guess. Uh, I, hope, I hope this helps some but other people out there who are maybe trying to figure out what's, what on earth is going wrong with their drone. Because uh, it's certainly been frustrating to me. I sure hope I'm able to fly tomorrow because I really am itching to get in the air. This is an awesome device. It really is. And um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you all again next time, hopefully very soon with a truly awesome uh, first person view drone video. And uh, thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like, subscribe, bell icon, all that good stuff. All the stuff you do to help me with my channel. I appreciate all of it and I appreciate all you all for watching. And I'll say just say goodnight because I am just about to fall asleep myself. So yeah, bye.